Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna explore the Trezor Model 1. In the last video we explored the Trezor Model T and if you're interested in all the other tutorials about the hydro wallets then please check out our playlist above. We explore all the different wallets, install them and get the first crypto on it and also unpack them. So if you're keen, check that out. Today we're speaking about the Trezor and most about what we like about the Trezor is that it is open source. So we like that a lot. And the Trezor one is actually the smallest model they offer in Trezor and the cheapest one. So it's a good entry point for a hardware wallet. Of course, there are little limitations on the Trezor one compared to the Model T. It's the more advanced and bigger crypto wallet. But if you don't have that many tokens or specific tokens, then the Trezor one should be more than enough for your first hardware wallet. Very important to learn is that using a hardware wallet is crucial if you get in a crypto game because storing your crypto offline is the most secure way you can store your crypto because exchanges can get compromised. They have been, been compromised in the past already. There have been big headlines like FTX and so on and they will most likely get compromised in the future again and you don't want to lose your cryptos. So start with a hardware wallet. It's not that hard. It takes about 10 minutes, just sit at the desk, concentrate, follow this video along and then you will have your hardware wallet in no time set up. Uh, on the back of the box we see caution, if this suspects the package has been opened by someone else, keep the box that it is, contact the treasure show port. So check if the film is all intact, it's not ripped open anywhere and then on the bottom and on the top there's a safety seal. Also check those if they have been removed or touched but it looks all good here so we are ready to go to open up the packaging we have a brand new device and we are safe to go all right let's open that up and remove the safety film then open up this safety band on the top it's actually pretty hard to open So you will definitely notice if someone tried to open your package because you see even I am struggling here to open up the package. Okay, we had to even cut it open. It's not that easy to open up like a normal and usual box. And then we pull everything out. And at first we see some stickers, the Trezor stickers, the Love Bitcoin sticker, the Getting Started Model 1 manual and then two papers for your seed phrase there will be 24 words with the treasure one with the treasure t you have 12 words and the security is just the same okay you have two of these papers or the sheets so you can store your seed phrase on two different hard copies please once again i tell that in every single video don't store your seed phrases online. Don't take any pictures of it because otherwise they can get compromised if they're online. It's the whole purpose of having a hardware wallet to keep your coins and tokens offline. So don't put your seed phrase online and then, well, you destroy the whole purpose of the hardware wallet. Beneath that, we can find our little cable, the USB A to USB mini, I think is that, and our little treasure. We notice it's much smaller than actually the Trezor T. I have the Trezor T right next to me. So it's a little bigger with the touch screen. It's a nicer one. Um, the Trezor one is much smaller. Let's remove the safety screen film. And underneath that, we can see the Trezor one having two buttons, a very small screen. And then again, on the, on the bottom, we have the USB connection, which we can then connect to the computer. You will hear, you will hear a little click once you plugged it in completely and then we can plug in that into our computer or device. The next step we have to do is go into the official Trezor website which is trezor.io. Only use the official website to get the software, to get the uh, product. So if you want to like buy the products then you can see all the different products they have on the website. Compare all Trezor wallets and then you will see the Trezor ones. Today we're reviewing the Trezor Model 1 which costs today Nine, uh, 69 euros and then the treasure T, which is the one I showed you before in in the detailed other video uh, linked up here is 219 euros 
If you want to get the software, the Treasure Suit, then simply click App and then you will get to the site where you can download the Treasure Suit. Download for desktop, they have all other options like for MacBook, for Windows, for Linux and then for also your mobile devices. Choose what is suiting for your device you're using. We are using a MacBook M1 right now, so we're gonna download that. I have downloaded the software previously, so we don't have to go through the installation process. It's very easy and we don't have to wait for that. Now we have to install Trezor Suite in our computer. And first thing first, we have to connect our Trezor. As it says on the screen, I have a different longer cable prepared, so I can do that here on the table as well. Let's connect that. All right, and we see, welcome, please visit trezor.io.start. We have the Trezor suit already, so we don't have to go and do the installment on the website. Trezor model one, device security check. My hologram was intact and attempted with, so that's the one in the beginning I showed you. Then I bought from the official shop and trusted reseller. So please don't buy your devices from like Amazon and eBay. There have been cases where the yeah, device was compromised and then the user got the device and lost their crypto. So only buy from the official websites. And then the package wasn't tempted with. So the safety film wasn't um, damaged. Nothing was damaged. It was a very clean packaging. Everything looked all right. So we are safe to go. Now, if you have doubts, again, contact the Trezor support and they will help you. In our case, set up my Trezor is the next step. Now we have to install the firmware, so install firmware. And we will see also on the Trezor that the firmware is installing. Once the firmware is installed, the Trezor will restart or reboot itself and then we will get the next instructions. We have to wait in the suit and then we see the continue button click that and here we ask if you want to recover our wallet or create a new wallet we can recover our wallet if we for example lost this little device and then want to restore the wallet with our seed phrase so we take the, our 24 words uh, enter them and then we can restore our wallet and then use this device for our new old wallet in our case we will create a brand new wallet so we click create new wallet and then it will tell us the wallet backup. The wallet backup is the standard, well, it's the seed phrase basically. And how the seed phrase works is that we will get the 24 words and these will represent our wallet on the blockchain. So your learning here is that our wallet is actually created on the blockchain and our tokens and coins are stored on the blockchain, not on this little device. So it's actually not a problem if you lose the device or someone steals the device because your coins are not actually stored on the device, they're stored on the blockchain. This device is only used to move your crypto, to sell your crypto and so on. So this is just like your little device to confirm the transactions. Let's proceed with standard seed backup. We click that. We have now to confirm on the Trezor, we have two little buttons. Do you really want to create a new wallet? Click confirm. We confirmed on the wallet. Okay, your wallet is almost ready. Now we have to create the backup. The backup is our seed phrase, as I told you before. Your recover seed uh, wallet backup lets you recover your funds in case of the treasure loss or damage. Okay, never take a picture or make digital copy of your backup. So always only make a hard copy. Best case, use two hard copies and then store them in different locations where nobody has access to it. Don't do that in a public place, really just be by yourself and then um, in case one of the hard copies gets lost or burned or something then you have the second one once you lose the seed phrase and you lose the access to your treasure then you lose your funds so learn that please okay next and then store your recovery recovery seed securely and never share it with anyone okay let's begin the backup now we have to confirm our backup on the treasure. On the treasure, it tells us now the 24 words. So we take our sheet of paper, open it up, and we have 24 spots for our seed phrase. So we will take a pen and note that down. I'm gonna do it over here. And then we will go through all the words, write them down, and then proceed to the next step. All right, we just finished writing down our 24 words on this sheet of paper, and now you should 
write it on a second sheet of paper too so you have two hard copies of the seed phrase in our case we will skip that step because it will take too much time to do that now and the next thing we have to do for our backup is to continue to create a pin a pin is required for a treasure well i highly suggest to do the pin because it is like your credit card pin for the Trezor. So if you want to log in into your Trezor suit, of course you have to plug in your Trezor and then you have to enter your pin. Then after that, you can access your Trezor and then do your transactions. Otherwise, if someone would find your Trezor and your computer and you don't have a pin on both of those, then he can easily access all your crypto and then just send it away and you lose your crypto again. So I highly suggest to continue doing the pin. Let's set the pin. Don't skip the step. Set the pin. Now we can set the pin. The Trezor is asking us if we really want to uh, set the pin. We confirm with the button and then we can go and set the pin. In the suit, you will not see the numbers. I see the numbers on my screen here in the Trezor so I can set the pin. Let's see, now enter pin. Now it is asking us to repeat the pin and the number pad on the Trezor changed. So the uh, numbers are not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all different. So it, it could start with a nine, then the two, then the one, then the five. And now the number pad changed again. So we have to re-enter the pin. Uh, so it double checks if we actually remember our pin. Okay. We entered our pin. It confirmed it was correct. And we can proceed with our treasure. Now we can select which coins we actually want to store on our treasure. In our case, uh, it will be just Ethereum. We will send some Ethereum, but of course you can select Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Cash, and so on and so on. Um, and these are the coins you can store here right now. Let's complete the setup. Here you can give your treasure a name. Let's say this is the coin tracking treasure. So coin tracking Trezor one. Okay, it's too long. Trezor one, coin tracking one. Okay, we edit the name and then we have to confirm again the name in our Trezor. So we click confirm and the settings have been changed. Now we can access the suit and we have to select which type of wallet we want to actually create. The standard wallet is yeah, the standard wallet, which you should actually choose. The hidden wallet is a more nifty feature in the treasure suit where you have to give the passphrase. Then every time you want to access this wallet, then you have to enter the passphrase too. So it's an extra security layer, but the standard wallet is uh, enough. We continue with the standard wallet and it loads up. All right, if you are ready to receive funds on your treasure, then all you have to do is go to your Ethereum wallet and then show the full address. And then we can copy the address and go into MetaMask and then send some Ethereum to our new wallet. So we click send, send to, paste the wallet address. Let's send to it 0 0.05 Ethereum, hit next. And then confirm the gas and then our transaction is pending on the blockchain as well on the Trezor you will see on the screen the address which you just copied just to make sure you entered the same address into MetaMask which was displayed on a Trezor and in the Trezor suit okay we can see now that our transaction got confirmed on the blockchain so we can go back go to back to our dashboard and voila we see we have $94 and received our 0 0.05 Ethereum. And that's pretty much all to the Trezor One setup. Now you know how the unboxing was, what we have in the box, how to install the suit of Trezor, and then later on receive your very first crypto. We hope this video was useful to you. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. We will happily answer them. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please check out our playlist with all the other hardware wallets where we compare them and unbox them, install them, and get our first crypto. We also have various videos about exchanges and wallets, so please check them out too. And we wish you happy trading. Bye-bye.